The one arm kneeling and carry is an amazing exercise to level your pelvis and improve core, hip, and shoulder stability. I want you to mix between the inhale through the nose and then exhale through the mouth each step. And make it harder by going from hip level to shoulder level to overhead. For the one arm back to hand, start in a fetal position, roll to your back, and you'll notice one leg is straight, one leg is bent, the bent leg is the same side as the loaded hand. I'm going to go from back to forearm to hand, and I'm really focused on driving this support hand underground for shoulder stability and strength. The one arm bare row is a delicious back, abs, and shoulders exercise. Here's what you need to know. First of all, support hand, you've got to drive that puppy underground. I want you to keep your hips and shoulders square to the ground. The arms should form a 90 degree angle at the top of the exercise. Exhale through the mouth going up. <sighs> Inhale through the nose going down. Make it harder by elevating the knees. Now we've got more balance challenge and the quads are going to be sizzling. If it bothers your wrist, use a slant board to elevate the heel of your hand. And if you want to increase the wrist stretch, elevate your fingers. The one arm overhead sit up trains trunk and hip flexion. I want you to start in the fetal position and either go with your body weight or a super light dumbbell, spread your feet into a V shape and focus on driving the heels underground to get glute activation and kind of lock in your positioning. I want that lower back flat to the floor. You'll start with a deep inhale into the belly to stabilize the spine. Exhale up, focus on going upwards instead of forwards, and then inhale through the nose into the belly, going down slow. And repeat for time. For the one arm bridge, you start at the end of the back to hand. This leg, notice I'm on the outside of the foot. Foot is flat on this leg. I'm going to extend up, and I'm gonna hold that position briefly, and then come right back down. The key on this is this shoulder, no, yes. Pack it down, and keep it there the whole way. The box squat is an awesome exercise to build your entire lower body, auto-correct your squat mechanics, and take pressure off your back and your knees. Now, you want to make sure you set the box height where your top thighs are approximately parallel to the floor. We're going to exhale up to the mouth, inhale down through the nose. If you want to target your lower quads more and increase the range of motion through the knee and the hip, Elevate your heels on a slant board. For the lateral hinge, you start at the end of the leg sweep stage, and I go from this position to a split kneel. Notice how the body forms a 90 degree angle. And I can make it harder by going from hand to forearm. One arm hip hinge is a great exercise to target the glutes, high hamstrings, and build the entire back side of your body. I want you to keep the knees soft. I want you to slide the weight right down your body, only going as low as you can while keeping a slight natural arc in the lower back. And I actually want you to put your hand on the small of your lower back to not only stretch the chest and front shoulder of that side, but to feel if you start to do this, which we don't want to do is round. Keep it nice and tight. We're going to inhale down. Exhale up. And you can actually increase the hip and ankle mobility benefits by elevating your toes on a slant board. For the leg sweep, you start at the top of the bridge and staying high to allow space for the leg to come underneath. I'm just going to slide that straight leg under my body into a split kneel, keep my eyes up at the bell, 
and then repeat. The one arm split curl to press builds your arms and shoulders and improves hip mobility. I want you to focus on using a hammer grip, palms facing the body, exhale going up through the mouth. Inhale through the nose going down. You wanna make this harder? Yes, you do! I want you to just do a hover hold for both variations, balance a glass of water on your head. This will crush your quads and challenge your balance more. For the overhead lunge, you start at the end of the lateral hinge, drive this knee underground, fully extend the hips, keep the abs crunched, keep the bicep right alongside the ears, and really press the knuckles up. You're gonna exhale up to a stand, and then slowly inhale through the nose down. If you have ceiling issues, or it's too hard with the arm overhead, just keep it at shoulder level the whole way. The one-arm scap press creates scapular protraction and sets the foundation for chest presses. Focus on pushing the knuckles skyward and then driving that shoulder underground. The one-arm scap row is a great exercise to strengthen your scapular retraction muscles. It also sets the foundation for rows. I like to do it off the edge of a bench or step so I can get that full extension at the bottom, that full reach, and I want to be very active with this down arm for stability. The one-arm suitcase shrug trains your upper traps, but also your obliques as it stabilizes and trying to fight the tilting and turning forces of being loaded on one side. Now the big focus here, you gotta keep the weight away from your body and focus on getting all the way up. Try to shrug and then squeeze and contract the upper traps at the top and then try to get a really deep stretch at the bottom of the exercise. The one arm overhead scap press trains scapular upward rotation and elevation. It also sets the foundation for all overhead work. You've got to start with a light five to 10 pound bell, and you've got to make sure you do it from a split stance and keep your abs crunched so we're not hypersending the back to get false range of motion. So root yourself down, try to get that shoulder up to the ear, and then pack all the way down. The one arm back to belly is one of my favorite drills to improve rotation in the hips and the upper back or thoracic spine. Start in a fetal position with a light dumbbell, and then you're gonna roll to your back as a setting up for a get up. Now we'll start by just kind of translating forward into this kind of sideline position, and kind of just get yourself nice and organized. You can rest the head on the biceps and have the eyes up at the bell. Now just do some elongated breathing, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Once that feels good, I want you to kind of spread those hips into the ground. I want you to get the dick on the floor, okay? And then from there, just slowly. I can even add some motion to the legs, kind of stretch the quads and hips, but keep trying to get those hips pinned down to the ground. And once the timer goes up, I'll just reverse the movement, switch sides, and repeat.